What's up? It's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing more British words that confused me when I first moved to England and some that still confuse me to this day. If you haven't seen part one, I'll put a link in the description so you can go check it out. And if you enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe to see future content and hit that little bell so you're notified when I post new videos. Number one, gaff, which just means home, as in fancy coming round to my gaff for a brew. Number two, bits and bobs, as in I'm popping out for a few bits and bobs, means you're going out for a few things, say at the grocery store or even clothes shopping. If you're American watching, it's the same as saying, I have to go pick up some odds and ends. Number three, faff. Quit faffing about and get on with it. Means you're doing anything and everything apart from what you should be doing. And I have to say, this is probably one of my husband's favorites as I hear it at least once a week. Quit faffing around, Amanda. <laughs> Quit faffing around. Does that sound anything at all? <laughs> Shall we just skip it? <laughs> Number four. Boot. I know what you're thinking. Everyone knows you wear them on your feet. Nope. The boot is the compartment at the back of your car. What I'd normally call the trunk. Having some junk in your boot just doesn't have the same ring to it. Number five, skin. Means you're broke. Not a penny to spend, not a pot to piss in. Another one that really confused me. Number six, pants. No, not trousers. If you tell someone you like their pants, they're going to look at you real weird because in the UK, pants are underwear. Or it could mean something entirely different. That's pants. It's just like saying that's trash. Although having said that, my northern husband insists that they also use pants instead of trousers where he's from. So maybe it's just a southern thing. And this is another one I hear all the time. Amanda, where's my pants? <laughs> Obviously, my accent is on point. Number seven, quid. I've got a quid is the same as saying I've got a pound. In the US, it would be the same as saying I've got a dollar. Number eight, banger. Simply put, a sausage. Also, when you hear a good song, apparently. My husband's apprentice at his shop says this when describing pretty much anything good, which drives my hubby crazy. Number nine, banter. It's a very British pastime, so you'll get used to it quick. But it's just sarcastic, playful teasing, back and forth conversation. Number 10, kraken. As an American, I'd say something like, we had a great night out. Whereas in the UK, we had a kraken night out. Or, as someone might say, that was a banger of a night out. See how confusing it gets when you use the same word for a hundred different things. When making these videos, I didn't realize how many words I genuinely didn't understand when moving here. Who would have thought that two countries who both speak English would be so different? If you'd like to see another one of these videos, let me know. And let me know if there's any words I missed. As always, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, smash that like button if that's what you're into, and I'll see you in the next video.